Hi everyone, it's Rita here. I wanted to talk to you about one of the ways that you can use essential oils to help support yourself. Probably one of the most popular ways is to use the oils aromatically, and that means smelling them and taking them in through your olfactory senses. And what happens when they are taken in um, aromatically is those oils will go through your limbic system and start to affect uh, your brain and your cognitive function and start to support you in, in multiple ways. And one of the most powerful ways that they can support you is through your moods. So you're able to change your moods, uplift your moods, um, get those cranky pants off the kids in the morning. Um, there's all sorts of ways that you can support them aromatically. And I wanted to go over really quickly some of the, the options that are available on how you can use them. So one really simple way is to open the bottle and smell it. And that's peppermint and whoa, you can smell that as soon as you take the lid off and you'll get the benefits from that straight away. Another step then is to put a drop in your hand Keep your fingers back so that afterwards you don't get this um, on your face. You want to avoid your face and getting anything in there. And the friction from your hands as you rub it together helps to disperse the oils and helps them to come out uh, the vapors more. And I can smell that from here. But you can cup around your nose and mouth and inhale. So peppermint's great, especially this time of year when you're feeling hot. It really helps to cool the whole system down. It's really great for that. Another thing that you can use is essential oil jewellery. So things like a lava bead bracelet. You can put drops of the oil on there and you can smell it throughout the day. You can also get diffuser pendants. And I love these. They're so great. I've got so many of them. And you can open it and there's a little felt pad inside. And you put drops of essential oil onto that. One of my favourite combinations is spearmint and wild orange. It smells like a lovely candy store. Um, I love it. It's really uplifting. And you can also get nasal inhalers. So these come with a little wick that you can put the essential oils on. They go inside and you put the lid on the bottom and then undo it and inhale the oil. So that's a great one, especially for kids at school. It's really powerful. Um, and you can also take them to work so you're not using a, you know, like some kind of diffuser. Um, you can get little USB diffusers as well that you can plug into your computer. You can get car diffusers. And I'm going to talk to you about really quickly this amazing diffuser that doTERRA does, which is the pedal diffuser. It's so simple to use and we use them. We've got a, multiples of them around the house. They're really great. It's a really simple diffuser. So you take the lid off. Inside, there's a little red um, dot. You just fill up to that max line. Um, and this diffuser is great because it will go for either one, two or four hours. And it has a little night light as well. So we're going to put some oil in there. So you might want to use on guard to help with any kind of immune boosting so that's a really great one but i'm going to actually combine peppermint and so three drops of peppermint and a couple of drops of wild orange so it's a really good focus and uplifting oil so i tend to use anywhere from three to six drops in my diffuser depending on the size of the room and how many oils i'm using and then we're going to press the mist button which is this one and that sets automatically at two minutes, uh, two hours, sorry. And you can see that the, I think you can see that, there's mist coming up there. And this is cold mist. So what the diffuser does is it vibrates really, really quickly and creates um, ultrasonic pulses that create this mist that comes up. So it's not steam, it's not hot, so it's a lot safer for using around children. And then I can inhale that and I can smell that and it feels, it actually starts to feel something inside me so I can feel the difference in me. Um, and you can press that again and get it to four hours or one hour. And all your diffusers, they should turn off straight after there's, uh, the water's empty or the timer's gone off. So it's a really safe thing to use in the, the rooms with your children as well. This one does have the night light or you can have it off, but it's still working. So you're still getting that um, mist that comes up. So using your diffuser tends to be the uh, most popular way to use the oils. If you have got an oil burner, please avoid using the burners. One, they're quite dangerous, so they've got a naked flame, so that can cause issues with fire, obviously. But what happens when you heat the oils, it changes the therapeutic value of them. So um, it may smell great, so you can still smell that peppermint or that lavender, um, and it smells nice through the house. Often once you get to the end of it, you know that really burnt smell that it gets, it smells a bit, bit foul. Um, but when you're heating the oils, it changes the, the um, therapeutic benefit, so it'll still smell okay, 
but you're not getting the benefits from them. So, you know, if you're using your lavender to help to help you sleep at night, it's not going to be as effective if you're using an oil burner. So a diffuser is a great option. I have one in pretty much every room of the house. I have them at work. I have them in my car and I'm using them all the time. I wear them around my neck as well. Um, so it's a really great way to start to balance the moods that are going on and you can impact everyone in the family and they don't even necessarily know about it. So it's really quite a sneaky way to do it too. So that's aromatically how you can use the oils. Um, hopefully that's inspired you for some other ways that you can get those oils into your life and make the most of using them. So thanks for watching and if you've got any questions feel free to message me or leave a comment underneath. Bye!